when you use portable electric netting fences with goats and also with sheep, there's a very real risk of entanglement and strangulation and death. So today we're going to train our goats to our electric netting fence and we're also going to talk about how to avoid a tragedy like that. The problem with this fencing is that if goats touch the fence, get shocked, and instead of backing away from the fence, they bolt through the fence, they can actually get wrapped in the netting, um, they can panic as they continue to get shocked, and they can get strangled. There's really two things that can help avoid this. One, a properly charged net. Goats need quite a high voltage, I would say four to 5,000 volts, probably 6,000 if you have significant predator problems, or maybe on the higher side of that range for a determined buck, say a buck who is being fenced away from does who might be in heat. There's a strong attraction there. Using an undercharged or worse, an uncharged net is a huge danger. If goats do not learn to respect the electricity of the fence, then they'll challenge it, they'll try to go through it, they can get tangled up in it, and they can get in trouble. The other key to keeping your goats safe is initially training them carefully. And that's what we're gonna do today. And there's really nothing to training except having a hot fence and supervising the goats' first interactions and first hours and um, days around the fence to make sure that they are learning to respect it. So that's what we're gonna do. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test this fence to make sure that it's got a great charge on it. And I'm reading 8,000 volts. That's a lot of electricity. It will not hurt the goats. It won't hurt the kids. This is really ideal so that the first encounter these goats have with this fence is going to make a memory, and actually more than a memory, it's gonna make a neurological impression that these goats will never lose. And that's what we want. Hey ladies, good morning. Y'all are looking good this morning. No, it's two girls. We're going to close up the goats um, until I get this gate down. So if you're real squeamish or real soft-hearted with animals, you may not want to watch this. The goats need to touch the fence today. They need to um, establish that psychological barrier in their brains. You know, it's gonna be sad to see the goats get shocked, but a consolation to me is that if they get shocked today and learn the fence while we're supervising them, it lowers their risk of getting hurt by the fence in the future. Plus the same electricity that causes them pain today is the electricity that's gonna save their life by keeping them contained and also keeping predators like coyotes outside the fence. All right, here we go. All right, be real calm and just let them explore, okay? They're gonna get shocked, it's gonna hurt, and they're gonna learn fast. There you go. Not too bad, huh? You're okay.
at this point, they know that something out here hurt them, but I'm not sure if they know yet it's the fence. What do you think, Coco? That wasn't too bad, was it? Hey, you're so cute. You are cute. Nibbling on hay, how sweet. Now it's time just to make yourself comfortable and watch your goats. Okay, I missed a couple shocks on camera. Now both the uh, adult goats have been shocked at least twice each and each baby has gotten a little taste of the fence. It wasn't too traumatic. Um, you, you saw what it was like in the video earlier. Um, they pretty much touched the fence, got shocked, ran into the barn. That's exactly what we want. No one's gotten tangled up. I'm very happy with today's training. Now, if I were to leave, I would be actually closing that up and kind of ending the training for the day, but I'm gonna be around actually in the yard working with the goats. So we're gonna leave it open for now and just keep a real close eye on them. If you wanna safely train your goats to this type of fencing, keep your fence real hot and watch them as they learn that psychological barrier. If you're new to our channel, check out our videos. If you like our videos, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you have something you wanna share about training goats to electric fences.